During the year of 1888, Randall and Frank Phillips with Lark McCoy, son of Harmon McCoy, and a posse of over 50 men intercepted Cap Hatfield and Jim Vance as they crossed Thacker Mountain en route to Devil Anse's cabin. Cap Hatfield and Jim Vance held off their attackers for hours, but a bullet from the gun of Lark McCoy took the life of bad Jim Vance. Lark McCoy had waited 17 years to avenge his father's death. Warning Cap to get away from the oncoming McCoys and Frank Phillips were the last words uttered by Jim Vance. After the death of Vance, Devil Ants moved deeper into Logan County and away from the Tug River. The entire Hatfield clan built a fort and settled on Main Island Creek. Nancy McCoy, who at that time was married to John C. Hatfield, did not go with John C. Instead, she went back to Kentucky. Rumors at that time said she was having an affair with Frank Phillips, Pike County's number one bad man. August 1889 was trial day in Pike County. Judgment was swift for the Hatfields who had been in prison for the past year to a year and a half. Many received harsh sentences. Among the sentences dealt out was a life term to Valentine Wall Hatfield, brother to Devil Ants. Many believed Wall Hatfield received the sentence that the jury would have liked to have handed down to his brother Devil Ants. Wall died in prison a few months after being sentenced. But the heaviest of the penalties was felt by 26-year-old Ellison Mounts, better known to everyone as Cotton Top. Alifar died of a bullet from the gun of Cotton Top. The 16-year-old darling of her mom and pop He was quickly captured and taken to the county seat And on a cold winter afternoon They kicked a box from beneath his feet And they hung him between heaven and earth He paid with his life for one night's dirty work He blamed the Hatfields and with his last breath he said I'll see you all in heaven Then Cotton Top was dead He had more faith in Devil Lance than most have in the Lord. The Hatfield clan is coming, Devil Lance had swore. I'll burn the town of Pikeville and kill every living thing. For Cotton Top is like a son and he will never hang. But they hung him between heaven and earth. He paid with his life for one night's dirty work. He blamed the Hatfields and with his last breath he said, I'll see you all in heaven, then Cotton Cop was dead.